Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's autograph video number 59. Now this week we're going to take a look at a very very useful feature of autograph and that is the ability to import images into an autograph page and have a good mess around with them. So all I've done here is uh, cracked open autograph in standard mode, not done anything else and now I'm going to find myself an image. So if I fire up the internet and there's Google and if I just Google tube map and if I click to the top here on images, fingers crossed, Google should give me a load of images of tube maps, London tube maps. Um, there's a load of complicated ones there. I'm after actually a little section of a tube map, so something like that would be absolutely ideal. Now, I could save that uh, picture to my uh, documents and then import it, but a quicker way is just to copy the picture. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go for copy image and I'm going to return to my autograph page. I am going to right click on my graph page and there it is, paste image and there you go. Now there's a good few things we can do with this image. Firstly we can move it around wherever we want just by clicking on it and moving it. Uh, we can resize it in the standard way just by hovering down there and dragging making it bigger. Um, but what's really nice is we can also alter the transparency make it a bit more see-through. So if you just double click on the image you get this edit image thing and all I'm going to do is up the transparency. Now it'll depend on the kind of color of the image and stuff like that what's ideal but something around about 50% normally works quite well for me so let's have a look at that and there's my image there. Now it's normally quite useful uh, if you're doing graph work with images to get, get it nice and centralized so I would love this bit here green park to be at the origin so I'm just going to click on that and I'm just going to drag it across drag my arrow across and I can get it exactly at the origin. Now you can imagine some of the things that we could do with this we could try and work out the equation of some of the uh, lines of the tube so that one going through green park is it y equals x well let's have a look if I just uh, go to enter equation y equals x not far off and then we can mess around with a constant control and try and get it spot on. Um, another important thing about this image is and another option you get if I just double click on here you'll notice that there's a tick with that scale images with axes. That means that if I was to zoom in so if I just use my zoom in box and drag around there then I actually zoom into the image as well which I may want or I may not want. Um, if I just go undo and I'll just show you the difference if you uh, don't tick that box if I double click and I take that tick off what happens now is basically the image stays the same size on the autograph page so if I zoom in the axes are zooming in but my picture is staying exactly the same size um, so it depends what you want to do whether whether you want that option or not so what, what kind of things can we do with these images? Well firstly the brilliant news is that Douglas Butler, uh, the original creator of Autograph, has stored a load of useful images online for free. So if you just uh, Google TSM resources you'll get Douglas's excellent website and if you have a look on the right here you get Autograph links and if you scroll down you get lots of links to some nice Autograph resources but down here is a zip file that contains hundreds of excellent images um, and often they have been imported into Autograph as well with lots of lesson ideas. So I've downloaded that file and if I just open it here there's loads of stuff in there but the one I wanted to draw your attention to is this folder Parabolic because there's lots of nice stuff you can do and in particular the human cannonball. Oh if I just go back you'll see a really nice one as well as McDonald's arches and ping pong balls pretty good as well and the Dungeness sound mirror so I have a good mess around with them but as I say human cannonball and this is a story back to 2007 where this guy here set off on a human cannonball trying to uh, land safely on that mat and what Douglas has done is he's taken this image and just as we did with the tube uh, map he's imported it into autograph and I'll show you the result there it is and Douglas has worked out using constants and we've looked at the constant controller uh, many videos ago using constants what the equation of that parabol uh, parabolic equation is and you can fire up the constant controller and you can see the effects of increasing B and decreasing B and if you switch to A, increasing A and decreasing A and I think that would be a lovely little uh, investigation lesson for students in a computer room maybe can they model the path of the human cannonball so loads of things you can do with images, loads of exciting ideas if you come up with any uh, drop us an email and I can feature them on one of these videos if you like and uh, yeah hopefully you found that useful and I'll be back with a fresh autograph video next week bye for now